Whether you just got your first 3D printer or have been using your 3D printer for several years, you might have asked yourself the question, what material should I try printing next? Here at Matter Hackers, we have hundreds of different kinds of filaments. From color to composite to temperature resistance, it can be overwhelming deciding what to try out. Nothing to fear, as the pros at Matter Hackers are here to help break it down and find your new favorite filament. Here are a handful of some of our top materials at Matter Hackers that we'll be featuring today. Let's jump right in. <music> 3D printing in standard colors like red, blue, or green is perfectly acceptable, but to give your project some extra flair, you should consider the filament brands and series designed to be as eye-catching as possible. You can find some unique colors within our ever-expanding Pro Series PLA catalog. From architecture-inspired colors like stucco beige to the radical UV reactive neon colors, there are a lot of possibilities for your next project. Filamentum's Vertigo series of PLA is filled with flex that sparkle, introducing the interesting effect of making layer lines virtually disappear while adding a metallic shimmer to your 3D prints. Printing prototypes and desk models is a great way to break in your 3D printer, but designing something functional and using it every day is a rewarding experience. With functionality, material properties are top priority, so you'll want a pair of materials with the job at hand. If you need to have a 3D printed part face mild heat and have a little ductility, Pro Series Rhino is an easy to print filament that brings a lot of mechanical utility to the table. So much so that all of these structural 3D printed parts on our Pulse 3D printer are made with it. Need a little shock absorption? Try NinjaFlex Armadillo, a hard yet flexible elastomer that works well for vibration dampening or as a bumper for moving parts. For a rigorously tested and well-rounded brand of 3D printing filament, look no further than Matter Hackers Pro Series. Everything from the familiar PLA to the engineering grade nylon, you can find a material perfect for what you're working on. Engineering grade materials like nylon are a perfect match for components that need to withstand high stress environments while still being reasonable to get parts actually printed. A material can have all the right capabilities to be perfect for the finished product, but if the process of 3D printing is proving difficult, it doesn't do much good. The beauty of Pro Series is that you don't need the skills of a pro to be successful, but you can expect professional quality in every spool. If you've only used your dual extrusion 3D printer for dual color 3D prints, it's time to dip your toe into dissolvable support materials. That doesn't mean you need to change to a new material in order to be compatible. In fact, there are dissolvable support materials that can be paired with the filaments you are already using. PVA-based support materials like Pro Series PVA can be used with PLA to support even the most complicated 3D models, and in some cases, models that can only be 3D printed when using a dissolvable support material, due to the internal channels and delicate features. PVA works well with PLA, but falters at higher temperatures necessary for materials like ABS or nylon. Fortunately, ionic support material has been formulated to survive with these higher temperatures without deformation. Keep in mind that any material that dissolves in water is going to be sensitive to humidity, so you will find that the most success is with drying out your support material before printing, using a Print Dry Pro or similar appliance. PLA has found its home as the entry level, supremely easy to 3D print material, but PLA lacks the properties that could take it to the next level. That is, until it was blended with other polymers in the form of Protopasta's HDPLA or Matterhacker's Pro Series Tough PLA. These can be annealed in a traditional oven to reform the crystalline structure, forming a tougher, more temperature resistant 3D print, while still retaining the original properties of PLA by being an easy to print filament. Tough PLA comes in many colors you would expect, like red, black, and white, and others that might surprise you, like pistachio, butterscotch, and cotton candy. For some unique effects in shimmer, Protopasta is constantly formulating new colors of HTPLA to supplement the basic colors. Dragon Scale, Nebula, and Blood of My Enemies are some of the first that pop into my mind. The filament market is ever expanding, which means keeping yourself from getting rusty is an important part of the 3D printing process. If at the end of the day, you want to explore all these new plastics but don't want to break the bank, Consider MH Build, available in everything from PLA to TPU. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers. Thanks for watching. Hey there, thanks for watching our video on some of the filaments you should be trying. I've actually been reorganizing my desk and printing a lot of those organizers with protopasta just to give my stuff a little extra flair. If you want to read some in depth articles, you can go to matterhackers.com or to stay up to date with all of our digital manufacturing content, be sure to click subscribe. See you in the next one.